We build everything in Canada, from the smallest projects to some of the most complicated, large and massive projects that have been ever attempted anywhere in the world. Maybe there should be a place in Canada to recognize the people who built the country. There's a monument to the firefighters, there's monuments to soldiers, there's monuments to inventors and the fathers of Confederation and the Fabulous Five, but there's nothing for the people who actually built the country they performed their marvels in. Our men and women are smart, dedicated, and motivated people who do incredible work in all weathers, in situations that most people can never really contemplate, and they build some of the most beautiful and some of the most useful structures on earth. The site is at the height of land around the Parliament buildings. It overlooks Parliament, it overlooks Quebec, Ontario into Quebec. It's near the header house of the, uh, of the generating station, something we build everywhere. If you look to your right from the site, you get to see the National Gallery of Canada. If you look over your shoulder, you get to see the U.S. Embassy and the Peacekeeping Monument. And if you look to the south, you see the Chateau Laurier. Just like building a building, the creation of public art as a monument is a fusion between the creative, the conceptual, and the pragmatic. I suppose someone could always say that what we do every day is art, but the truth is the art community in this country, which is large and vibrant, has a way of taking more mundane things and building them into symbols of what is going, what has gone on and what could be foreseen in the future. We're going to do what we do best and build something. So Canadian artists, we want you to give us your best shot and we promise to build what you've dreamed as well as anyone, anywhere, anytime.